After 10 days of intense attacks, AI bots have killed over 1 million civilians. Officials have identified a bot named Harlan. It's the world's first AI terrorist. Really? A hundred million dollar budget for this movie? Seems like it was ironically written by ChatGPT. And I'm not surprised that JLo is a producer on this movie. She probably wrote an AI prompt that said, write a sci-fi action movie script with me as the genius badass star but where I can sit in a chair for 90% of it. And also make sure that my hair looks messy but hot. No. Oh, okay, 28 years later, so I guess that means your character is like 38 years old? I mean, she looks amazing for a 54-year-old, but you could have written 38 years later. You look old. I guess we're still using bullets in the future, even though they know that Casca is bulletproof. Okay, it's supposed to be a trap, but why not just bring this thing up to his door instead of sacrificing a dozen guys? Do you wish to continue? Oh, glasses. I guess that means she's wicked smart. It's a shame that in the future mankind has mastered intergalactic travel but still hasn't solved the problem of nearsightedness. Or baldness. Or pollution. I can't tell if she's just too lazy to comb her hair or bedhead is supposed to be some kind of a trendy hairstyle of the future. And did they outlaw hair scrunchies in the future? Because I'm not sure that's the most combat friendly hairdo. I keep waiting for her to pull her hair into a ponytail, but we keep getting slightly different versions of Tina Turner. I can't wait for the deleted scenes to come out that show Smith helping Atlas tease her hair into different styles and reapply her lip gloss in between battles. Flying cars, cool. It would be more realistic to show LA gridlock in the sky and douchebags flying around like a-holes. Harlan is an imminent and existential threat. That's right, this super AI terrorist almost killed off mankind and we must marshal all of our resources to ensure the survival of the Earth. How many soldiers should we send? Eh, two dozen should be fine. Okay, uh, how many spaceships? One. Where's Harlan? Never mind. I got him. You can't hack me. Checkmate, Casca. So smart using a little reverse psychology. It's a good thing AI didn't download any episodes of Better Call Saul. And Andromeda Galaxy really narrows it down. They are literally a trillion stars in that galaxy. I like how they fly there like it's taking an Uber to the airport when it's 2.5 million light years away. You couldn't toss in something about using a wormhole or something? Kind of weird how they programmed this functionality into Casca. Should I worry about my Roomba shooting poison darts at my cat? Titanfall ripoff. You need me on that mission. I like how she keeps saying, you need me on this mission, I'm the only one who knows Harlan, and then spends the rest of the movie going, I don't know what I'm doing. The only value she adds on this mission is saying, be careful, he's a tricky bastard, but then ends up being tricked by Harlan into coming onto that mission. And Harlan's whole master plan was to get Atlas and Colonel Banks to come to his planet together so he could get their clearance codes, but riddle me this, what if the general at this moment didn't agree to let her go? Checkmate, Harlan. I hope you enjoy it. Wanted a good cup of coffee. Oh. In the future, we still haven't mastered the art of making a decent cup of joe. Paper? Where'd you find a printer? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they decided to send 20 of the most moronic soldiers ever. Paper briefing? Seriously? What danger is there in putting our battle plan on our servers and devices before attacking the super AI enemy that can hack into anything? And why would Harlan hide in a planet that's inhospitable to humans? OSHA is going to send a harshly worded email about this unsafe working environment. Is this really the best place for the ROAS to be zooming around and swinging plasma blades all over the place? Why do they even need to warm up? Are they afraid they're going to pull a robot hamstring or something? I'll see you on the other side. Oh my god, we forgot to invent an early warning defense system or any countermeasures on this battleship. And what are you saving your energy shield technology for? This proves that Harlan is a master military strategist well versed in the art of war. He lured them into his trap and gave up the element of surprise by shooting a volley of missiles at them. I told you the son of a bitch is tricky. GPS, when did you launch satellites on this undiscovered alien planet? I thought it took like half an hour to sync up. Oh, I see. She crashes into this planet at a thousand miles an hour and survives, huh? Ain't no fucking way! No! Turn that off! We have to walk to avoid detection. It's amazing how crappy AI of the future is at detecting and tracking objects. Don't they have satellites or flying drones or motion detection technology? 
Even when this giant robot is lumbering right next to them, it takes them forever to detect it. Later, they sneak right up on the doorstep of Harlan's base undetected, even though a ring camera would have spotted them from a mile away. Speaking of a mile away, I'm guessing ICN is led by the Americans because they can't decide whether to fully implement the metric system. And by the way, the International Coalition of Nations is redundant. A coalition of nations is by definition international. Okay, you can't tell me that this dialogue wasn't written by AI. I am a computer program named Smith. It's so, it's so retarded. This alien planet looks suspiciously like Earth except for some fucked up looking plants. So they are walking to the rescue pod and just happen to randomly stumble on the ranger drop point. Get the fuck out of here. So Harlan's AI army can easily break this glass but somehow can't break Smith's glass even after taking hundreds of direct hits. I guess that explains why the AI army can easily kill a whole squad of trained rangers but then get taken out by a single analyst who's never been in an arc suit before. And why didn't Smith just harvest some fusion batteries from the other arc suits since it took him 30 seconds to bolt on two new arms? I can't fight six AI soldiers! I'm a goddamn analyst! I'm just an analyst. I only did three weeks at the farm. You're just an analyst. Oh, come on. You're just an analyst. You are an analyst. Analyze that. You're not just an analyst anymore. Why does an AI robot need to punch in instructions on a forearm pad to fly away? Speaking of flying, why is Smith always running from danger when he can just fly away? I want to learn more about this ion bomb technology that causes this massive explosion but somehow leaves the user completely unharmed. And Casca also falls into this hole even though we just saw him flying around like Iron Man. How exactly did she break her leg inside the cockpit? And that's a femur bone, but whatever. And it looks like local anesthetic will be outlawed in the future. This will only take a moment. Will only take a moment? I could update Windows XP faster. Hey guys, can we focus on the mission of saving planet Earth? Wait, so you have to physically walk to Harlan's base to geotag it? It's right there in your scanner. I can tag something from around the world today on Google Maps. Here's Harlan's secret base. I'm pretty sure ICN can easily locate it without your geotag since they've got neon lights all over the place. But somehow zero AI drones patrolling the perimeter. Okay, that transmission should have taken two and a half million light years to receive. Hello, Atlas. I've been expecting you. You've grown up. You still have mother's eyes. Not my mother, Todd. Oh, I get it. Humans are going to destroy themselves, so to protect humanity, I have to kill everyone. If the general suspected that the ship and carbon warhead are captured by Harlan, why don't they just disable the two clearance codes so it can't get past Earth's defensive shield? Are the IT guys not working on weekends or something? So lucky that they invented a breathing apparatus that fits over her neck so we can always see her pretty face. There's still a chance to stop Harlan. No video cameras monitoring them? You can't spare a robot dog to watch them? You're hurting mommy! Run! Sorry mom, but there's no way a little girl can break free of that giant robot's powerful grip. You see what I see? Upgrade. I'll get started. Wow, that was quick. Do you have an AI Tony Stark in that cave or something? The exit is... Shields up. Oh, now you're turning on the shields after getting blasted a million times? If this alien planet has no oxygen, how are there fires all over the place? Learn invasive scenarios! Fast! God, that was satisfying. <laughs> oh good, that was cheesy. Atlas, the ship is taking off imminently. So you're telling me that Smith isn't willing to sacrifice itself and Atlas to save the future of humanity? Kind of a selfish robot if you ask me. I don't have enough time. You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Come on, you can do it. Get up! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't have it yet. I'm taking a shot. Atlas, no! Oh really? One tiny shot can take out this huge ship? That's like taking out an aircraft carrier with an RPG. 
And why does this thing take five minutes to take off? And let me get this straight. If the ship crashes with the carbon warhead, it'll destroy half the planet. But if it explodes in a giant ball of fire, nothing happens? But it does not matter because you're going to call me another ship. Why not just deep fake her? You know, you can just fly away from him or blast him from the air. Oh wait, Shang-Chi can fly too? So after all that, Harlan is taken out with a random lead pipe. Let's hope he didn't save a copy of himself in the cloud. We're getting out of here together. Atlas. Uh, why doesn't Smith just temporarily power down so they can recover his CPU when they come rescue her? Thank god backup is here from two and a half million light years away. You know, you could have been waiting in the next planet as a quick reaction force. Shall we play chess? I've upped my game. No thanks. There it is. There it is, I see it. There it is. And there it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you mean you didn't recover the ranger's bodies when you came to get me? Oh, now that all the fighting is over, she finally goes with a practical combat ponytail.